up in high court, the suspects were ordered to put on the Sapiens Day. By omission? Yes. When the, <coughs> the suspects were released before high court, they were directed to appear before the chief magistrate court on the 30th day of September, and which is we end. And for that matter, we we play for an adjustment to the first day. Of the 30th day of September? Which will be a Sunday. And uh, in the event, in the circumstances, we should pray that the matter be done to first of October, which will be the subsequent working day of court. Joshua yeah. has rightly put by my land friend, the <coughs> state attorney. Some of our clients are not in this court because of two major reasons. One, there are a section of our clients who are undergoing treatment as earlier directed by this honorable court. And uh, there is a section of our clients who got mixed up with the dates and um, are not here. It's our prayer that this Honorable Court finds that uh, their absence is not in bad faith, it's not in defiance, and in, it's not in disobedience of lawful orders. I pray to tender in this bail bond papers for Honorable and I'm sure all these other accused persons have the same. What is this on the bail bond form? Your Worship, what is indicated on the bail bond form is that the accused persons are granted bail and they are to report to the Chief Magistrate's Court once every month. These were the conditions of the bail? Yes, that's the condition of the bail by the High Court. Inter area, what were they? Among of, other conditions. Of importance is that they are supposed to report once every month in the Chief Magistrate's Court starting the 30th day of September 2018. Starting from? 30th, 30th day of September 2018, mm -hmm. which falls on a Sunday. Is it true? Your Worship, it's true. Where is my hand? <laughs> <laughs> you say it is a Sunday, where is the truth? It's a Sunday, Your Worship. This order 
is an order of a higher court than the Chief Magistrate's Court. And uh, this is the justification for the absence of some of our clients. What is your prayer? My prayer, Your Worship, is that this Honorable Court finds that this, is, this mistake is bona fide, it's in good faith, and consequently the absence of some of our clients is also in good faith, is also bona fide. And as prayed by my land colleague, this court be pleased to give us another day and we undertake to inform our clients who are known to us as law abiding citizens and they'll be right in court on that day. And so we pray. I think the state should only reply. It's more of consent. Yeah, it's more of consent. Yoshi, maybe before you take leave of this, I also pray that these clients who are present in court have their papers corrected to reflect the correct date on which they are supposed to appear in court, to avoid future mix-up. Some of them may come on a Sunday and Monday, they are not here. As I said earlier, this is a superior court, this is the high court. The day was given by the High Court. Yes, Your Worship. The day happens to fall on a Sunday. On a Sunday. <clears throat> the police think I am amending the terms dictated by the judge. <coughs> That's why I rose up and made these prayers. You will guide us, Your Worship. But as noted uh, earlier, uh, we, this we, is not the order of the resident judge. It's not the order of his lordship. The, 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 the judge who presided over the bail application. I prayed earlier that this honorable court be pleased to treat this as a mistake of court and mistake bona fide. Why don't you bring it to the attention of the registry of the high court? Your Worship, I... I, I can gladly give you another touch in a one-month period as earlier directed by the judge. Most but I right. cannot adopt or amend what is reflected here. Most of right. your consent, kindly and respectfully, take it to the Regis Pra High Court, move him, he will take the appropriate action. Most of right. This court is too small to amend the orders over the High Court. Most of right. It's too small. Okay? <laughs> My, 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 my humble advice would be, I'm going to adjourn this matter to first day of October. When you move court the other side, you can, you can rightly advise court that actually the date is first. Maybe court can adopt that very date which I have given to be the date for extension of bail and, 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 and if you inform other other choosing the persons. But because of the mix-up, which I'm real understand, which I see it is bona fide, but which I don't have powers to correct, I will pardon those who are not in court and give them another debt. But I cannot amend or, 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 or rectify or do any changes as far as this order is concerned. I don't have those powers in law. It might be a bona fide mistake, and I'm seeing it prima facie on the face of it. But I can't. I can't, my brother. Mm
since investigations in this matter are still ongoing, this matter is here by adjourned to the first day of October 2018 for further mention. Please, you can leave. Call another file. Civil suit number forty seven of, of twenty thirteen, or Jeremiah Salino, Okelo Denny, 